I'm Jess, and today we're going to be looking at the wonderful world of rockets. The basic principle behind rockets is Newton's third law. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Rocket engines work by throwing mass in one direction, and as a result, they go in the opposite direction. For rockets that go to space, they use rocket fuel that the engine burns as high-pressure gas. And as a result, they go up, way up. Now, if you want to try this out at home, we won't be using rocket fuel. Instead, we're going to be using Alka-Seltzer tablets. Safety is a priority. The citric acid and the sodium bicarbonate, baking soda, produce carbon dioxide gas. That's the bubblers you're seeing there. Now, if we can trap that gas in a small container, the buildup of the pressure of gas, which takes up more space than a liquid, will cause the container to go off in the other direction. So in order to do this at home, you're going to need one of these old-fashioned things. A film canister, some water, and an Alka-Seltzer tablet. If you want, you can decorate your film canister like this, put some paper on it, you've got a beautiful rocket. Make sure you keep the opening open though, so that you can pour the water and put the Alka-Seltzer tablet in. Take your rocket, you take your water, and you fill the canister about one-third to a quarter full. Take half a Alka-Seltzer tablet. Now this next step has to be done very quickly. When we add this, the carbon dioxide gas is going to build up and it's going to push the lid off. And as a result, it's going to go in the opposite direction. Put this one in, get our lid on, wear your goggles for protecting your eyes, step back, and wait. And there you have it, a mini rocket launcher. Here at Science World, we like to do things big. So to use our bigger rocket, we're gonna have to take things outside. So here we are outside in our Ken Spencer Science Park where we can make the reaction even bigger. This time, instead of using a film canister, we're gonna be using a empty two liter pop bottle. And instead of creating a gas, we're gonna be building up air pressure. What we need is our two liter pop bottle, a bike pump, and then a setup that allows our bike pump to seal the bottle in place just like that. Like before, we're going to be using Newton's third law for every action. There's an equal and opposite reaction. In this case, we're going to put seven pumps of air. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now there's all of that air uh, pressure right in there. As soon as we launch it, all the air will be pushed out and the rocket will go in the opposite direction. Let's take a look. Three, two, one. Launch! Woo! That was pretty good, but I think we can make it even better. Force is mass times acceleration. So if we can increase the mass, we might be able to get even more of a reaction. If more mass is being thrown out of the rocket, it might go even higher. We're gonna use H2O, also known as water, and just put a little bit in our bottle in here. You don't need too much. That should do the trick. Again, put it in our contraption, seal it up, and we'll leave everything else the same. Seven pumps of air, and we'll see what changes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's check it out. Three, two, one, launch. And that's the wonderful world of rockets. You can check out this and other demos at the Science World Resources website. Woo! Who was on I wasn't going to this time? <laughs> okay, and I'm really gonna try not to scream this time. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha